Okay, I got a new gun, and, um, it's the HG-107 by H HFC. It's actually just a model of the Colt 25. Um, I'll show you the box. Um, air model firearms, um, gas type, basically. Um, and I didn't know it came in two-tone and silver, but I guess. They checked off black because it's mine is. Um, um, a bunch of warnings. You would actually see the manual. Um, it basically just says Colt 25. Um, I mean, auto, like, auto 25 or something. Um, but, I can't find the manual. Okay, the first thing you'll probably notice is... Well, the first thing you'll probably pick up is the gun. Um, I'll go over... Well, actually, I'll go over what's inside first. Okay. Here's the... Cover to the um, BBs, which are cheap. You shouldn't use them unless you're using them in like a spring revolver or something, or a spring pistol or whatever. Okay, um, air model firearms and synthetic ammo. You can get them that mean they're supposed to mean plastic, but whatever. Um, Okay, here's all the BBs. I just took out a few to show. They don't. They're not good. They're point one twos. Okay. Um. It also comes with a silencer. With it, it looks actually pretty good. It's pretty solid. It's not like cheap plastic like I expected. Um. It's actually pretty solid. Now, we'll go over the gun. It's actually pretty heavy. It has a nice weight to it. Um, I put that piece of um, cloth there to tighten the grips to make the grips tighter to the gun because it was really wobbly and rattled a lot. First of all, it's a gas non-blowback, which means the slide doesn't move at all. Like, it's molded onto the gun. Um, there's the, there, that's where the gas goes. Um, the magazine, you, there is no magazine release, it's just held in by tension. Um, first of all, it holds seven rounds, so, yeah. Um, you just lock it down, just put the BBs in. There's nothing holding in the BBs, so don't push that when there's BBs in. When you put it in the gun, when you put it in the gun, it'll automatically be pushed, as you heard. Um, it's plastic, but it's not, it's in the middle of plastic. It's like between high quality plastic and low quality plastic. It's pretty good. It's okay. Um, the gun is actually made of sturdy ABS plastic. I'll show you the sights now. There you go. Not too good. And when you put the silencer on, it makes it so you can't even see the sights. Um, the trigger pull is really hard. Um, as you can see, when I pull the trigger, the barrel goes back. See? The whole inner barrel goes back. Safety. You can pull the trigger with the safety off. As you can see. With the safety on, trigger's not moving. The trigger is metal, and 
The safety is metal. That's pretty much all the metal parts except for the barrel. Uh, and screws. Um, and internal internals and everything. Um, you can g use any type of gas you want. I recommend green gas or propane. Um, you could even use. You could even use um, top gas, which is um, which it which is really quite powerful. Like it's between green gas and CO2. CO2 is really powerful. Like most airsoft wars don't allow it because it's too it shoots too hard. Um, that's off topic, but. Okay, here's the gun with the silencer on it. The first time you put it on, it'll be it'll be hard to align the threads right. But when you get used to it, um, I've heard people say the paint scratches off really easy. It doesn't really on mine. As you can see, it completely blocks the sights. It looks a little weird with the orange tip, but for the video, I'm just gonna take off the silencer. Um, mm, not many trademarks. All it says on the actual gun is made in Taiwan. I don't think you can see that, but it's right here. Um, and it also has that spider logo that HFC has. So yeah, um, I didn't get any green gas or any gas yet because I don't, I just didn't get to it yet. I used to have some, but now I don't, obviously. Um, Here's the HG107 by HFC. Um, feels pretty good, and so far it's pretty good. Bye.